energy, the environment, and nuclear security. The world needs new technologies to tackle these issues head on. Two research institutions in Washington State have an outsized impact on these important areas, the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and Washington State University. Each have world-class capabilities in nuclear science and technology, the power grid, and bio-based products. Together, they can drive innovation in these areas with even more impact. The WSU PNNL Institutes bring together complementary and synergistic expertise, combining unique talents and resources from both WSU and PNNL to essentially address major scientific and technological challenges in areas that we think are important for the nation and the Northwest. What this opportunity really allows us to do is to uh, take the talents and facilities of PNNL and underpin that with a very strong academic component here at Washington State University. That's really important in terms of advancing the science and, and, and that understanding, but it's also really important um, in terms of development of the workforce. PNNL and WSU are both nationally recognized as experts in nuclear science and technology. We've kind of already solved the easy problems within this domain. And so now what remains are really the critical challenges that require a huge breadth of expertise. So in the area of nuclear forensics, that's particularly important, there we're thinking about how do we stop the illegal trafficking of nuclear materials? And being able to detect that at an early stage is very important. Also, for nuclear fuels, there's a number of companies out there who are trying to think about what the next generation of nuclear reactors will look like. And those may need different nuclear fuel formulations and also uh, advanced materials for the construction of those reactors. And in the area of environmental cleanup, um, it's an ongoing concern of what do we do with nuclear waste? How do we treat it? How do we store it in a safe manner? I think that you'd be hard pressed anywhere else in the country to find such a localization or nucleation of uh, scientists that are working within this area. We're each bringing new perspectives and expertise to the table. And at the same time, we can grow their student base. And as such, we expect that in the next five to 10 years, the majority of, of the entering workforce is gonna come from this institute and come from the Pacific Northwest. WSU has one of the topmost power engineering research groups in the country. Uh, similarly, PNNL has the top uh, power group among all the national labs in the country. And it makes a lot of sense to come together. There are new threats to the grid that we have to be able to withstand. Hurricanes are increasing, uh, natural events, as well as man-made threats, uh, like cyber attacks, for example. And the only way to face these things is to be able to simulate how that happens and also simulate the mitigation strategies that we need. We want to simulate the North American power grid with scenario-based analysis that looks at what-if scenarios. If this happens, what's the consequence? If that happens, what's the consequence? And this will help us deepen our understanding of opportunities to improve the grid resilience. So we're very excited about the opportunity of the Advanced Grid Institute to focus our collaboration on developing better models and tools to simulate the power system. We think we can provide the kind of leadership that the country needs right now in research and new technology. In the forming of this Bioproducts Institute, we're looking very holistically at our ability to manufacture and develop new materials from bio-based resources. Our vision here in this institute is that we can make bioproducts that have more value, uh, that are different than just biofuels that people are used to. And an example here in the Northwest could be looking at apple pomace or grape pomace from orchards and, and vineyards that we have. And these can go into small organic acids that are used in personal care products, that are used in polymers, that are used in super absorbents. 
And by using these streams, we can solve a problem, a waste stream problem, yet make a fuel or a chemical that adds a, a great value. There's really an opportunity for us to produce many of the chemicals and fuels that are done off from petroleum or natural gas from these bio-based resources, things that we see every day. p and our, our expertise really is in that conversion piece that the fungal technology and biotechnology using fungal organisms, the catalysis that, that we have. And working with WSU, who brings so much expertise in, in chemical engineering and ag sciences and end product uses, is, it's almost magic but it is biotechnology and catalysis working together, and that's how we add value. The WSU PNNL Institutes are on a mission to inspire, impact, and influence nuclear science and technology, the power grid, and the conversion of biomass to valuable products. Together, we will advance scientific discovery and empower the next generation of critical thinkers and doers.